my name is Sander and welcome to a video about the UFPS integration progress. Um, I want to show you how far I went now and um, yeah I want to keep you updated. So I'm still working on it and actually it is pretty complicated in some ways. Um, yeah let me just show you this firstly. Um, so actually there is the player. Um, this player is just created with the introduction or the um, the documentation of UFPS and yeah you have to do this later on as well. Uh, actually just uh, follow this later and add the weapons on it and so on. And the only thing which you have to do later for my inventory system is just add this UFPS player script and that's all. So furthermore, I've changed some things here in this menu. Um, there is the IM manager now, and there is there are some new options. Actually, you have to you activate the UF, UFPS integration, otherwise you will have some problems. And yeah, here on top there are some information. So actually, for support, my Skype my name, if you want to have like a Skype call, and maybe probably I can help you. The documentation will just give you instantly to the link. Um, so there's the documentation actually it's getting all oh, the script uh, scripting API, uh, API at the moment and the documentation is here everything is getting updated with the new update as well and yeah here's the input manager and you can change every key code now from here on and everything is working then uh, with the key code uh, furthermore, there is the item database and the blueprint database in this window now. I guess it's easier to manage everything in one window and not in three different. And yeah, I guess it's a better way. So what I've done uh, with the weapons from UFPS is uh, I've added this, um, yeah, the weapons here and added new item types. In this example it is the UFPS weapon and the UFPS, uh, UFPS ammo. And you have to take all weapons which are from UFPS or using UFPS has to be tagged uh, with this UFPS um, and so on. And otherwise you will get problems. Um, yeah, this is all. Uh, furthermore, uh, there's also the bullet, and uh, this has to be tagged uh, uh, as item type of UFPS ammo, and that's all. So let me show now how this uh, works in play mode now. Uh, when you open the inventory, I just gonna drag and drop everything um, here now, and show you how it works. So I gonna take this weapon in my hand, and so far you cannot shoot because actually there's no ammo in the yeah in the pistol. Uh, you can uh, reload the weapon in three different ways now. You can press R for reloading, and it's getting reloaded. You see also the ammo um, yeah is getting lower, and now there is a capacity of 19 in. So actually it is just checking how much ammo is. Uh, can be placed in this weapon. I know maybe you, you can see the recall is not realistic. It, I just added this uh, from the documentation of UT, uh, of uh, UFPS, and yeah, this is something which you have to sort out on your own, which is or what is the best recoil and what what are the best settings for the weapons. This is uh, this is something which you have to sort out on your own. Um, yeah, you can sh see I can shoot now yeah, uh, how I like and press R again, and the weapon is just getting reloaded. And when I just open C now and drag this weapon out, you see the the, the ammo which was in the pistol uh, is just getting placed in the inventory as well. So just oops, just let me drag this down again and take the machine gun in the hand. So um, I got this machine gun now in the hand, and yeah, I just reloaded, and you see how I like as well, and drag and drop this bag as well. The ammo is still in, and yeah, let me just show you. Also, with swapping uh, the weapon, it's also working. So yeah, um, how you also can. Yeah, equip or just reload the weapon as with right click, and yeah, it's just getting uh, equipped. Um, yeah, I guess these 
is everything from UFPS and yeah um, the grenades will be getting added as well so that you can press G uh, for a grenade throw or just like drag and drop this in the hotbar and press 1 when it's in place 1 and throw this automatically when you press 1 uh, furthermore in I guess this is all which is actually on my plane I guess um, for the next update is also planned um, the time um, uh, crafting over time so that you get a, um, a time line like um, you need to craft five seconds for uh, for something actually uh, like opening this storage box over time so it's like in H1Z1 uh, that you need time f to open a chest um, so that you see um, you need some time to just open it it's not getting instantly opened and what also is planned is uh, I forgot it I guess yeah but there are some small other things which I want to add as well yeah if you have some input for me for the UFPS integration like I don't know you have something which you want to have in maybe just let me know actually this would help me a lot and yeah I hope you like it so far how it looks like and yeah see you to the next update and to the introduction video maybe about the UFPS in uh, UFPS uh, integration for the M2 system yeah bye bye